morning guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to do it together and for the first time in my life i'll be shaving with a straight razor uh, it's a manly thing to do uh, is what our grandfathers used to shave with and uh, today we're gonna do it and let's see what happens hopefully i don't get too caught up and if we follow the right steps, I think we should get a nice clean shave and we'll be able to uh, get better and better as we go. Stay tuned. First step is to do a towel with hot water. Usually you preserve it. Usually you do it better after you take a shower or whatnot, but today since we're just doing and then I must say I have to tell you I'm not shaving the beard I'm just uh, going around it cleaning the top top of the mustache top of the beard making it a little cleaner let's see how close this blade gets to uh, leaving a nice shave and so you gotta with a damp cloth hot you want to open up the pores softening up the hairs that you're about to shave okay second step after you uh, dampen your beard with a little bit of hot water what you do is you uh, wet your brush and you get some uh, of this nice shaving butter and I'm using the brand tri coastal design TCD and so you kind of just put enough on like I said, we're not doing the whole beard, we're just doing the top. So you kind of just put it on top here, just so we could get it moisture, moisturized. Now I know there is a line that we have to follow so we don't mess up the beard. So we kind of just do it at the beginning. Like I said, to prepare the skin and let it soak in a little bit of this nice cream. So where you see the white, that's exactly what we're shaving today. It's a very, uh, um, not extensive, but it's more meticulous. You don't wanna mess up the beard. and You don't wanna mess up the line. So uh, this is the second step, putting that cream on, let it, let it stay there a little bit, not too much, a few seconds, and then for it to uh, get ready for the next step. This next step is what I do. Uh, I guess other people could do it a different way. Uh, but I basically kind of wipe off a little bit of the cream that's aligned with the beard. Kind of just wipe it off. Follow the line so that way I can know exactly where I'm going to cut. Kind of give me a a nice line that way I can follow through that way I don't have to go in too close and now so what you do is now you just shave the white stuff but be careful of getting to the line so we could do that afterwards after we wash it off just kind of go along the line more slowly okay here we go this is it uh, this is the blade we're using it is a Stainless steel, of course, made in, t in India. It's a Parker safety razor, okay? It's pretty solid. It, it's the blade, it's the same way every other blade is placed. Another video will show you how to put it together, but uh, there's a few ways to grabbing it. I actually saw some YouTube videos, like the one you're watching now, on how to hold the, uh, the, the razor in the best, more comfortable way for you. And so basically when you open it, right, you, you bring it in and you put, you turn it, you put the three fingers on top, the thumb in the middle and the little pinky in the back. There's many ways of doing it. Okay. Many ways this way or that way. And then you hold it like this. You see, you hold it like this. Okay. Or like the other way, mm -hmm. like this, you see it? Many ways of holding it. Basically, you have to be comfortable. Uh, if you're going to be doing it at home, you have to find the best way 
obviously the key is not to cut yourself. So get comfortable with it, uh, play around with it, whatever is easier for you, uh, then you go for it. Okay, here we go. It is not really showing what I'm doing, but you hold it at about a 30 degree angle and you just go down on it. Okay, you, you pull back your skin a little bit so you could see what you're doing. Obviously you wash it a little bit, okay? Wash it. Feel smooth. Okay. You grab what you access, you're cleaning it. Okay. Feels good. Like I said, as you go, you keep moving the blade around. So just put it in a position that you're able to to hold it right. Oh, I can feel it. Very nice, very nice. So then the next side, the same process. Not too much. You don't wanna go like this, cause then you'll cut yourself, okay? You wanna put it at an angle, maybe at a 30 degree angle. Uh, and just go holding it. Okay, you kind of flip it. I'm a lefty, so, so you're gonna have to see me do this awkward movements. Will I get it done? Do it if you, some people are righty, some people are lefty. However you do it, that it's more convenient for you. Okay. So same process, you kind of want to wipe it down so you can see what you're doing, okay? You wipe it down so that way you don't mess up the line of the existing beer. And mess up the, you know, you're going to keep that mustache and you don't want to mess it up. So as you could see, it's pretty much done. Kind of go wiping it down. A little bit more detailed in the side. Take your time, especially if you're doing your own beard. You work a lot for it to have, get it this long. You don't want to mess it up with your shave. Obviously, this is my first time, and it's, the line is not as perfect, but you do feel the smoother, closer shave. You guys don't want to mess up your beard. Those of you that have a beard, I don't want to mess up the line. This has been the first time I use this. You could you feel the closeness. You feel it way different than the regular uh, razor, and if, like I said. I didn't want to mess up the line. I didn't get as close. And if you're not comfortable, get somebody to help you so you could get that good, nice looking line in your beard. This is for someone that's doing it at home by themselves. Obviously, there's many people that can do it by themselves and it comes out perfect. But if not, then just go to your local barber shop and they'll take care of you so you can stay looking sharp and uh, manly and awesome. Okay, have an awesome day. Keep that beard growing till next time. So then what you wanna do is you wanna grab it uh, after you've taken off all the cream and you basically got all the, the major parts, uh, kinda just uh, go at the little points where you want to, you know, just kinda 
make sure that you get those and you'll hear it where it grabs it you know you don't want to go too deep but you want to make sure that is getting that those those extra pieces that you did it obviously one side will be harder than the other one unless you're able to do it with two hands one side will be easier the other side will be a little bit tighter but you'll get it done okay okay next step and final step is you grab some aftershave smoothing or moisturizer and you get a little bit on your hands and you kind of you know just tap it in bring it in there i think i put too much but oh yeah i put too much bring it in let it soak in okay okay let it soak in for a little bit and there you go nice and smooth close shave moisturizer helps the pores close up again till next shave you'll be ready to go see you next time